welcome to today's video. T today I'm here with Project Polish 2023 finale. It's New Year's Eve, last day of the year. So, so it's been three months since the last update. It was in the beginning of September. I focus on to have a good finale and not do another update because I have not been wearing nail polish so much or changing nail polish so much. I've been wearing about three mammies a month, so very low. I am using studio lights because it's already dark here. It's 3 p.m. It's already dark, but did not this Friday, but the, the, the Friday before, it turned. The light is coming back. But here we don't notice it until like end of January, beginning of February. I did look it up last year that in Stockholm, that's nearby me, the sun goes down at 2.59, no, 57, 1st of January. So that is like 3 p.m. So here it gets dark at 3 but it gets dusk at like 2 so it's very, it's never light and then the sun on 1st of February the sun goes down at 4.30 p.m. so in one month we get one and a half hour extra daylight and that is feels better because I feel like around 5-6 p.m. if it's dark it feels a little bit better than 2 p.m. so the last update was in September, so it's been three months. So, and in November I did focus really on project polish polishes because I wanted to have some progress. Because I feel like in November there's no theme because I feel like September, October is like fall, Halloween. Then November is like not a theme. Then it's December is Christmas themes and they lot colors. So like November is a good polish month that then you can use them. And here I never <laughs> use my fall polishes because we have only two weeks of fall here. It was very strange that in like September here was summer and October. In the end of October we still had s summer here, summer temperatures. Then we had two weeks of fall then, then then, came winter, so the winter came here on like 11 of on November 11. We have already had in, in November 18 below zero, like th three or four times. It was it got so cold so fast, so I was like going from like summer money still in September. I did use one fall polish and then, then I did use Halloween color like black and then it, it turned a, a winter so I just feel like fall I, I did a fall nail polish rack here in my beauty room but I never used them because the fall just turned so fast away and I did check that on a season map this year we had two weeks of spring so it, thought it, it was winter two weeks spring then it became a summer and now in fall, September, and like two weeks in October was summer, then we had two weeks of fall, then it, it became winter, so it's like, it went so fast. So I never, so never had the fall feeling, so yeah, so there's very very few of them. Also, my posting on Instagram, nail, nail, nail photos, was very few because I did do a lot of fall garden projects. I was digging up my dahlias and I did plant some bulbs and my nails take, took a, a beating from that really badly. They are now recovering again. So I feel like I will start posting photos again in January. This is my last mani of 2023. And there are two Chanel Glaze. This came out in a holiday collection, maybe in 2015. The purple is called Brand Sparking New Year. And the gold is Bring On, on the Bubbly. Perfect for New Year's Eve. 
and matched my eyes with purple and gold eyeshadows. This year I did work on 11 polishes total. I did start with 10 nail polishes. I did rubber 5 from last year. I think I added 5 new ones this year or something like that. I did uh, finish this Lancome polish. It was only one use left. So it was a, a gimmick polish. So, so I did roll in another one. So I've been working on 10 uh, polishes most of the year. Then in the September update I did have the Victoria Nails Ink empty because I did drop it and spill it out. Most of that was left in it so it, it's empty. So, so that was in the last money I did have on. That was the money I had on in the video in the update. So so far only had two empties. But I have happy news, I have more empties in this finale. I'm really happy about that. So, then I did use Shana Glaze Rubber Pumps, that's not in this project. But next is, I did use Essie and Sally Hansen. I have a photo of this one. Here so the Essie cocktail bling and topped with the uh, Sally Hansen glitter. I did use that, that, that one again so I will show it later. But this is the Essie mini cocktail bling. And this one is empty after that many. It was only one many left. So it is empty. I was surprised there was only one many left but it looked like it was more in it. I feel like the beads make it more look more than it is. So this one is empty. The third one this year. Next I did use Maybelline Wine Shimmer. Here is a photo of that many. That is Maybelline Color Show Wine Shimmer. And this one is also empty. There's only one man left one in this one as well. I was so so so, so surprised. I have two empties again, so I have a total of four empties. And in October I only used the Color Club and the polishes. Then in November I did use the the pen and essence. So I did use the the pen pink. I don't have a photo of this. I think I don't have a photo of this many. So I did use the the mean the, the pen pink. And this one is also empty. I think I also did a, a pedicure with this one. So it's one many and one a pedicure. And it's also empty. I was so, so surprised. I, th I thought I had maybe two manis in them each left. There was only one. So that so I did top that one with the essence top coat. It's a, it's, it's a pearly topper. And I can't make a new line this time. I did use so little. So that one is rolling over to next year. Now I have five empties. I was so, so surprised because I, I thought they had like two manis in them left, but. The sides are maybe a little bit higher than you think because the beads make them higher. But I was so surprised, <laughs> like I had so many empties. So now we are in still in November. Next man I did go to a birthday party, my cousin turned 30 and she had the theme glitter. So I did wear a little polish, I did wear the Sally Hansen Sparks Fly. 
can have a big nice progress line this time the previous lines did fall off but I did, I did check the video and I was about that black line before now I'm by the white line I feel like I have a, I used like a half of, of it now so this one is wrong over the next year then this many I have a photo of here it is I did use the Claudia Ocean Deep topped with Isadora glitter topper I did make a new line the white one so that's a, it's a tiny progress but this I also did use a I also did a pedicure with this one I still have it on now It's so very nice for pedicures, so, it, so that's really nice. So I have like half left, so it will roll over it to next year. Then I did, then we are in December. Then I did a snowy icy mani. Did use the Isadora gilt top again. First, the, first with the. Claudia nail polish and then again with kicks because there was a lot of glitter I have a video of me taking a walk in the dark and it's like 20 below zero and it's, everything is glittering so I wanted to do a mani like that so I used kicks pretty pale and this one is also empty after that one I was like, like what is this they all surprised me So I have now total empties is six. So that was so surprising. So that's the last for Polish money. I'm checking my phone so I <laughs> remember exactly. <clears throat> so I was so surprised, like I expected that most of these we would roll over to next year. I was so sure about it. But six empties, like. So there were two nail polishes that I didn't use at all since September. The first one is the Mini SC Marshmallow. Still, still at the black line. And the other Sally Hansen Tipper Shine in the color Fanta C. So I have again six empties and five still here. So I'm, I'm surprised that I did six. I feel like that is my number every year, like five or six empties. So that feels good. Also, if you have noticed, I have, haven't had a haul or a what's new to my stash this year because I have purchased zero polishes. It, it's, it became a no buy year. It was not intended to do that, like it just happened. Also that I have more hobbies now, I have my garden and also fixing up my home, trying to change out the furniture and changing things. So I've been, my budget has been toward those things, like I feel like if you buy some, maybe if I buy nail polish for like 30 euro, but still 30 euro, if you save that you can then add 30 euro then you can buy something new you know to, to your house or the garden or I feel like I have about 500 nail polishes so I have a good stash I have good colors 
so I feel like so, so, so I, I have been tempted like but I feel like do I want to spend 30 30 euro again or 50 euro on nail polishes when I have 500 do I want to put this on a like saving to, towards something else so something else had one each time like do I want to save for a trip or like I want to do more because we know during the pandemic we are just home I saved money so I wanted to have more experience going to concerts and doing things with the money and just buying nail polish so yeah so it, it became a no buy this year so this year I'm actually back six polishes so it's really good do you want to say something more I'm not sure I will do a pretty polish next year. I do enjoy it, and it's good to choose polishes to try to finish up. Because I don't do pretty polish to like mi minimize my, my collection or use as up as many as I can, just to have a good, fresh like balance in my collection. That I use untried. I use my stash. I use my seasonal favorites or favorites. Also, if I want to buy something new and try it, so. So I want a balance in my collection and I mostly I think add in nail polishes that I purchase but I, I like them but I don't use them because they're not my, maybe my favorites it's easy to, to choose a purple or something in your comfort zone like or your habit zone so for me polish polish also is a challenge to use polishes that um, I don't choose as often I try to enjoy them and like them and find a way to like them I feel like last year I was very focused on the blue and the whites and like this pinkish red they look pink and red depending on the light they're the, the, like a mix of the both so I have been thinking what to add in next year I have some but I wanted to be sure which one was empty, which one I have left, what colors do I have left, how many do I have left because I want to roll over them to next year because I don't want to put away polishes from last year because since I have good progress the easier they will start to dry up especially the essence like this one is so little left and it's very if I leave it for next year on the shelf I use it time to time it might dry up very fast so but I will have to add some recess restore in that one it's very th thick already so if I would just forget about it next year it would it will probably dry up so, so it's better to continue working on them so I have so I have five polishes rolling over so I'm thinking about a number, if 10 polishes is too many because I will not use them all in one month or maybe even two months only. So maybe I will only add maybe two or three, maybe I will have nine this year, no next year instead of 10, let's see. I'm thinking that I will add a big bottle that I know I will I probably will be working on f for two years, like the nail sink Victoria. This was in polish polish for two years almost. Because that big of a bottle, it would take me two years. So, so it's maybe, maybe fun to have one big, big bottle every year. I know it would take two years to finish, but I'm uh, slowly working on Then I have a few with like the uh, the pen nail polish or a mini essay you know I know that they have about five six manis in them so it's fun to have different sizes of bottles so you have the different progress to have more maybe empties and not like now every empty at the end so I see you have low battery that's all for polish 2023 the finale Six empties, it was very fun. So thank you so much for following this project this year. Thanks so much for watching my videos this year. I hopefully will be back next year with 
more videos. Hopefully, I will be back at my my normal place. Happy New Year, happy end of 2023, I'll see you next year, bye!